Okay, this is the, 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 the power mister um, controller. I'll put the, uh, the real details in the title. Right, so battery, press the button. I'm on 24 volts, okay. Um, the, my voltage from my, that I'm gonna charge to is 29.2. I can change it down a bit. Yeah, I say 29.2. Um, I'm B1, BO1 is lithium. That's what I've selected. You can have BO2, which is uh, gel, and BO3, which is flood. I don't really know what flood means, to be honest with you. I'm just, it's lithium, so I'm going for that. I've got life power for all batteries. Right, then we go to this screen here. And I should be able... It's a very, very bad screen. You can never find out where the actual main screen is. I'm still having trouble now, right? It's, you know, I want to know where... There, all right, that's it there. So, yeah, it says I've got 5, 0.5 and I'm going out. I haven't. I've got nothing going out of out of the DC output. I've got no nothing coming in, but I've got sun. As you can see there. We got sun. Right, should have something. All right. But nothing there. And this is my problem. This, I've replaced. This is the 100 amp version. I've replaced. This is the 30 amp. This was working perfectly, but I thought that the having two panels and maybe having a third panel was going to be a little bit too much for that because it says that this can only go to two panels. And I thought, okay, let's go for the three panel one, and plus I wanted a spare. And basically, it's not doing anything. I've come out this morning expecting my battery to be all charged by midday. It hasn't, you know, from it being on last night, it just hasn't done it. Right, I'll show you in the next video that I'll join you this one that this one will just work all the time right with the same settings you saw there bo1 29.2 uh and that's pretty much it right okay okay we're back and just uh for a matter of uh, full disclosure we'll take this one off the wall to prove that it is what i said it was one screw is always enough in front ne never put more screws than you need Right. Okay, right. See there, it's uh, 100 amp. Maximum watts, because that's what I wanted, 1200. So you can get easy three panels on that. Amazingly small, no fan on it. I don't understand that. They do get a little bit hot. Um, right, now this one here, this is the one I've had. It's been working absolutely brilliant. So it's the MCU. And that can only have 780, so that can have two at 350. Well, I've got two at 360, so it just gives you enough to just have two panels. And it's charged at 30 amps, that's enough for me. Anyway, right, okay. So now, stick on the battery first. Comes on, 24 volts. It's already pre-programmed anyway. All right. Switch on the, the PV, straight on, 17 amps. Right, and you'll see here that 29.2 was my voltage set there. All these other voltages are for this outlet here. And in BO1, I've selected BO1 battery, lithium. Uh, auto, oh no, that's not that. Then, and what I'm gonna do for the, just so you know, it's fair. I'm gonna sit here for a couple of minutes. And you saw with that one there, this one here would do it for a, you know, for a while, but this one will charge all day and it'll just fluctuate at wherever it needs to be. Depending on how the solar, the, the, the solar's uh, coming to the solar panels, it'll just change, obviously. You know, it could go up as 20. And I, I'll be honest with you, I was under the impression that this could do, this couldn't do two panels. I don't know why. I'm sure I saw it written down saying this was only suitable for one panel, even though it could do 30 amps, which I thought was strange, because you can't get 30 amps out of one panel. You know, anyway, but he said the wattage, the wattage wasn't, uh, was too high from two panels for this. So I, I paid the extra money and um, nearly, that's nah, not really, it's on the way to double for the 100 amp one. So there you go. And you'll see there, 17 amps. So basically this, 
was a complete waste of time and money, right? And it's for, you know, three panels. But if you just keep switching off and staying off for long periods of time, the only thing I can think is that it's getting too hot. But that one's not getting too hot, you know? Let's have a look at the the heat. And the, the, the interface is terrible. The main, you don't never know where the main screen is. 40.4. This was getting up to 40, 40. I can only think that it's getting up. It was at 48 and it is very hot at the moment, right? But this one has any problem. So we'll see if that was the problem. We'll post back or I'll make another video attached to this video and you'll see, All right? Yeah, it is going up. But another thing I must admit, when I re keep retrying this one, I don't attach it to the wall. That could be the reason. Yeah, I've not attached it to the wall. Yeah, so it's not, it, it, the wall helps it dissipate heat. But at the same time, if you just got a little breeze going around the back, it is dissipating it, you know, it's not a heat sink. The wall is a heat sink. Yeah, but it, today is a particularly warm day. Yeah, it's okay. Could be that. Was it 48? And it does say, it does say that you, 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 in the instructions, look, in the instructions, it says here, one of the possible problems, right, troubleshooting, suddenly not charging. That's exactly what I'm doing, right? It says there, solar energy disappears, only arrows. I haven't got that. Yeah, if the panel's on the screen, if the panel was gone, right? But then, you know, you only get the arrow going in. You'd go, mm, okay. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the problem, right? But it's not. I'm getting, as a, a, you'd see in that video, when it's, when it's not charging at all, in the earlier, the earlier uh, part, part, part of the video, You'll see there, overheat protection, self-recovery of temperature. So it basically recovers on its own. But I, I wasn't getting a loss of the panel. I'm only getting a loss of the, of the, of the actual amps. Okay, right. I think that concludes it. That is getting up to 45. I'm gonna screw it to the wall to, to, to be sure, and we'll see, I'll get back to you. Okay, later. just, I said I would. That's the temperature with it off the wall, right? So that's the 30 amp one, not the 100 amp. The 100 amp was attached to the wall, right? But it went up to 48, 48 uh, degrees. All right, so we'll just go in, we'll see. 29.2 volts, BO1, auto 24 volts detected 53 and then we go 17 point never stops charging always charges right there you go 100 amp gone back in the box that's going back to the, the power mister luckily i did have that one otherwise i'd be stuffed now yeah load of rubbish well but that one's good though so maybe it's faulty you know what i mean 